Hi there, I'm Mike Ernst, this is the first chapter in the Intermediate Photoshop for Planners course, part of Planners and Courses. And in this video, I'm just going to quickly talk about who should take this course, and then I'll discuss some of the major elements that we'll be covering in this course. First of all, if you've already completed the Introduction to Photoshop course that precedes this one, uh, then you should be set. If you already have an understanding of Photoshop but want to learn more, um, if you already understand things like how to crop, move, select, zoom, and have a good feeling about the layout of Photoshop, including some of the panels and some of the basic tools, then you should be set in this course. We're going to cover a number of things, and the full list of topics is on the Plan Editing Courses website. Uh, however, I just want to talk about a few of the things we'll be, we'll be covering. We'll go in depth on, uh, on layers and how they work. Uh, we'll also talk about a number of tools, including the brush and gradient tool, uh, and the pen tool and shape tool. Uh, I'll also go in-depth in uh, some of the options for those tools and other additional settings in Photoshop so that you can fully understand uh, some of how these really complex panels work. I'll also talk about how to manipulate layers and shapes using transform and warp tools. We'll also be covering how to uh, combine photos together in photo mergers, first by taking correct photos uh, properly with your digital camera, but then also using uh, the proper settings in the photo merge uh, tool in Photoshop. We'll also talk about how to speed up the, your workflow using action and actions and batch processing. And we'll talk about how to uh, make things easier using external devices like graphic tablets so that you can create uh, interesting, compelling graphics for your urban planning projects.